I wasn't really planning on shooting a YouTube video today, but I think I'm gonna now. It's hard to see, but there is a lion track in there. Walk up the road. Let's see again, like right here. Right there. So now the fun part's just trying to see where it cuts off the road. I don't know where, uh, if it leaves off the left or right. I'm kind of anticipating it going off to the right for some reason, but it doesn't mean it does. It's right there too. I'm gonna kind of circle them as I go so I don't lose where I'm at. I've been going down this freaking road for like a mile. And it's still, it's right there. Still going. one because it's been a sec. This is the frustrating thing with lions is I swear they freaking use dirt roads like highways sometimes and spend a long time just trying to figure out where it leaves. Alright, finally this stupid ass gravel road has made it really tough but got it leaving the road finally go back and get the dogs and see what they do with it so it's been a minute since i've made a youtube video but uh i've cycled through some different dogs through that time i've still got slim who i've had a few years and then smoke was a puppy probably last time he was in youtube videos and then two new dogs so the new ones are both, one's like eight months and one's like five months. So pretty much just going to be smoking Slim, doing the work. Slim's four, smoke is like a year and a half, a little over. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Slim, slim, slim. Freaking puppy barking in the box is driving me insane. <coughs> what also is driving me insane is how freaking wild these ones are. I mean, they settle down. It looked like they could smell it. Right over here pretty good but I am fairly worried it popped back up onto the road like I didn't want it to it's hard to say now but that looks like a lion track right there it's crazy the difference it makes when uh Like when it's walking in this, you can't freaking get them to take it and then get them off in the grass and they can trail pretty good. Smoke's quieter, so you're not going to be able to tell when he's in scent, but he definitely helps. The track right there. I just give them a minute and let them tell me where it went. But my gut. Yep. I was going to say, my gut tells me it's over on this side.
gosh, if we're going this slow before the sun's up, we better hurry and get a freaking move on this thing before the heat kicks in. There's gonna be some tough trailing here before long. The hot nosed plot says you can smell it. I call him the hot nosed plot. He's actually not really even that much plot at all. Very little. I hope it crosses right there. I really don't want it to come back up because the road's only right there. It'd be freaking sweet if we could get them to get on the other side of the river and go up that hill. But it looks to me like this is the track going this way now. Son of a bitch, how'd that happen? You got the track going that way now. And a track coming in this way. Freaking cats doing loops in here, I guess. Well, got, I got across this river. I just came over here to see if they could trail on this side. To see if it did cross. Still getting tracks going both directions. Jonathan freaking sucks. I really don't want to end up backwards on this thing. I really probably don't need to walk with them, but <clears throat> where there's this many tracks going every direction, I kind of am curious to see if we're on the backwards one right now or the frontwards one. But now I'm in the grass and the dirt's really hard to see what direction we're going. And I hope this is the right way. Half of me wants to go walk the canyon I thought it would be in. And then the other half of me says, go back where I started. Just get up on the side hill and walk the side hill and get them to trail the opposite direction. I just come back to where I started the first time and tried to send them the other way. 
Just walking them this way. Wide open grass is hard to trail in. Harder than like if it was in the oak brush. But definitely thinking this would be the right way then. If the other way was backwards. Hopefully the hot nose plot has it going that way. That'd be stellar. There we go. Smoke already checked right there, but Slim was opening back here, so Smoke come back to check him. But that's just, I just saw the track a second ago. It's just walking this freaking game trail. We've been stuck right here for a minute. So I got looking for tracks. And of course, you'll never guess. That one going up and down this trail that we just came up. That's twice now. I've been trailing a track that doubles back. I don't even know where to try and start them the right way, really, on this. Well, can't figure this freaking thing out. So, uh, went and got the puppies, letting these two get some water, and then I'm gonna walk the other side of the river up, the original way I tried to start it. Just to see what we come up with. Because at this point, your guess is as good as mine. Well, I'm right by someone's camp, but I think we picked it back up. <laughs> you can hear their generator running. I'm like probably 100 yards from someone's trailer. Try and be respectful and get the dogs out of here as quick as we can, but give them their space. But it definitely crossed right here last night or this morning. Right, right behind their camp. Hopefully it just stays up the bottom of this canyon. No eight AM. Man, this freaking sucks. Just weird deal. Everywhere I think I know where it's going, it either goes there and it's doubling back on us already, or you just every time I find the track it's coming into the road and the only place I ever found it leaving the road was when it doubled back on us. Well, just walking the river. Since this cat's just been on and off this trail the whole morning, I just leapfrogged in front. It's 
starting to get to the point where we can only trail in the shade. And even then, clearly it's giving us run for our money. I well, loop back and got the puppies. And uh, gonna make one last little last ditch effort before we call it. Well, this is kind of a crappy comeback video. I didn't get to freaking video any bear hunts this whole year. Just got way too busy. Honestly, I didn't want to have to worry about videoing on a lot of it. Because it does add a lot of extra work. So I was just kind of doing my thing. But <clears throat> had a freaking awesome barrier. At least the middle of it. The beginning was slow. The fall was great at first. The last two weeks were really slow. But that middle ground, freaking killer. I was hoping we'd catch a lion today for the for the comeback, but turns out we just get to trail the freaking crap out of one. It's 11 right now, and I'm up a canyon. Just made like another little loop. <clears throat> but in total, let me stand this way so you can actually see. I did seven miles. Ignore those two. Smoke, 11.88. Slim, 10.9. So, <clears throat> definitely gave it a good shot. It would have been a little bit better if we had... What sucks is I checked a different road first and then came to this one. And if I had freaking came to this one first, I would have found that track and I would have been able to sort most of it out in the dark. And then that would have saved me a lot of time to trail it like right at first light. Oh well, can't win them all. I think I've said that in just about every freaking video I've posted, but. It was a good day of trailing at least. I promise I'll try to be better. I'll post more. Now that we're in the fall, it's a little bit more laid back for a while. So I'll uh, <clears throat> try and get another video up here soon. So thanks for watching.